I met with several different people when I first moved to Los Angeles, and Glenn Ballard was one of them. And I walked into his house, and we met for 15 minutes and just chatted, and then we started writing. We wrote a song called The Bottom Line that first day. And I could tell that this was going to be an environment where I would be able to tap into parts of my creative self that I'd never done before. A lot of the songs that I was writing when I was younger were written with collaborators who very much viewed the songwriting process in a very certain, distinct way, and, and in my estimation, somewhat of a rigid way, in terms of lyrics and rhyming, and, and um, it was a very <clears throat> perfectionistic experience from what I remember, which was great. It taught me so many things on how to use my voice. And, and uh, when I was in Los Angeles and working with Glenn Ballard, it was very much about writing from a place that was very stream of consciousness and not from my mind. Using my mind to sort of have it be siphoned through so I could put it into words, but just letting it be a channeled experience in a way that I'd always envisioned it to be. I had already written in that way when I wrote in my journal or in my, what I loosely view as poetry when I was younger. So I already knew that whole, that whole feeling of something writing itself, but I'd never really done it in my songs. I'd done it when I was performing the songs, but not while I was writing it, so um, it really required being in an environment where we could be out of our heads.